All right, so we made the one ball into the side pocket. We have a clear view on the two ball. The problem is the three ball is blocking the path. So what we're trying to do is we're actually, I'm trying to play a combination. This means I'm looking at the two ball as if it was the cue ball. And I see I have to shoot the two ball towards here to make the free ball. So I can either remember that spot here on the rail, which I always like to do. And I can also remember the ghost ball point. Just go over and shoot into this direction. Uh, two ball is going to get towards the long rail. So I have to think about the cue ball as well. Using a tiny, tiny bit of right spin here. That turned out really nice and the right spin was necessary to not get behind the nine ball here. So good news, bad news, we can see the two ball. We are almost straight. We can't really reach it. So I'm going to play that one right handed. It's a lot easier. And here, very important, if you come over and look at the four ball, we don't want to be straight on that four ball because we have to get over for the five ball. So it's very, very important that we either end up here over with a bit of an angle on the four ball to have an angle to go towards the five ball. So I'm going to play, I think, just a high ball here, trying to end on that side of the four ball. It's a bit difficult with my weak arm, but let's see what we can do. By the way, do you like my shirt? If so, follow the link to my shop in the video description. And I think we have, yeah, we have a nice angle. If we're trying to get towards here on the five ball, we risk getting straight. Straight is okay, but then we have to go to short side position. That's why I'm just trying to bring the cue ball a bit out, leave an angle on the five ball to go nicely towards the six ball. So always think three shots ahead. That's very important. You can see, didn't do it too much. We have a nice angle on that five ball. So here again, I don't want to end up straight on the six ball. It's not the end of the world if we end straight, but I would like to have a bit of an angle to have um, all the options on the seven ball. So I'm just going to play high, bring the cue ball out and hopefully leave the cue ball somewhere in this area here. just like I um, imagined. So we have enough angle. Now, of course, what you could try to do is bring the cue ball out like this, get the seven ball into the side pocket. But the problem is if you come over here and have a look at the straight line from the seven into the side pocket, if we're on the wrong side or if you're just traveling a bit too far, we have a really difficult shot. So it's a lot easier if you're not going this path, but just into the rail and out towards here and play the seven ball into the corner pocket. So I'm just going to play probably just a high ball here, play the six ball into the short rail and then bring the cue ball out into this area, preferably with an angle where I'm just stunning a bit away from the nine ball. So speed has to be right here. And what angle do we have? Well, a bit less angle would have been nice. This is still very, very doable. So I could try to hold the cue ball, just run it over along the tangent line for the nine ball into this corner pocket. Or I can also stun it into the rail and out. We're a bit in between, so we can decide what we want to do. When I'm in between, I like to go down and just see how I'm feeling with the angle. And here, when I'm down, I think I'm going to stun into the rail and then back out for the nine ball. Just a bit below center. By the way, if you want to get 30 secret videos that were never published before on my YouTube channel, again, follow the link in the video description. Oh, I hit that one, but this is still um, um, a nine ball you must make and you must practice because the money ball, the nine ball, eight ball, 10 ball is always here on that spot. So wherever the cue ball is from here, you should be able to make that nine ball. 
I'm also trying to bring the cue ball towards the short rail, two rails, just that I'm visualizing um, a cue ball path that I'm not doing anything different just because it's the money ball. It's the same ball you want to play position and think about the cue ball just as on every other shot. And while we're watching how I'm hopefully making that nine ball, it's time to leave a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video and if you're watching till this point. And very important, if you want to improve your game, if you want to learn how to play pool, then you have to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell notification to never miss a single video. And that's it for today. So thanks for watching guys. And as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.